Welcome back. New at four, a drug used for nearly a decade to prevent joint pain and swelling in those who have arthritis could save your life from COVID-19. A new study is now showing promising results with those sickest from the coronavirus. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales today looking into the ways it could help and the barriers to getting it. A promising drug to treat the sickest from COVID. It's called tocilizumab. This is basically another tool in the toolbox for us. Dr. Michael Tang of USF Health tells me the antibody has long been used on patients with rheumatoid arthritis to treat inflammation. A major UK trial shows it can also reduce the risk of death, shorten the amount of time someone is in the hospital, and lessen the need for a ventilator. If you get infected and have severe COVID, now there's a, an additional drug that can help you survive. The same trial first discovered dexamethasone was effective against COVID. So they've tried things like anti-HIV drugs, and those didn't work very well. They tried hydroxychloroquine in the study and showed that it didn't work very well. Dexamethasone was used on former President Donald Trump. The steroid is now part of standard care. Meanwhile, toxilizumab would give it a boost. So it really is the assistant, the, the Robin to the Batman. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great analogy. It, it helps just that bit more. The study shows for every 25 patients treated with the drug, one additional life would have been saved. But is it necessary with millions of Americans getting vaccinated? Dr. Tang says absolutely. Only about 4% of our population has gotten both doses of vaccine. But he warns there are downsides. It's expensive. It's not that widely available. But most of us would agree any new tool to fight the pandemic is always welcome. Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.